Hey, hello again guys. So recently Filter Blade had an update and it finally supports Path XL2. So I'm going to show you how to make a filter on this website. So first things first, we need to pick how strict we want the filter to be. Uh, this goes from soft to uber plus strict. Now soft is going to show you more items as you can see in the filter overview. If I put this to uber plus strict, it starts to hide the common currencies and even the mid tier currencies. I like to use uber strict personally, but it's up to you what you use. Um, also, if you wanted to, you could just download this as it is. Uh, because it's based on Neversync's own filter. Uh, but we're going to use this as a baseline pretty much. Uh, if I scroll down here as well, you see notable drops. Now if I click on this Divine Orb, it plays a sound that drops uh, when we find a Divine Orb. So essentially this allows us to see what the filter will look like in game. So now we're going to customize the filter. Now you can change pretty much everything about the filter. You can change how general currency show up, uniques, chancing bases, uh, rings, amulets, weapons, you get the idea. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go to General Currency, just to show you how this works. Uh, I'll click on S tier. Okay, so now you can see uh, what the uh, tag will be for these items down here. So base type is obviously the um, items that we want to look like this. <clears throat> so in this case we have Albino Row of Feathers, Divine Orbs, Mirror of Calandras, and Perfect Jewelers Orbs. They're all going to look like this in-game. Uh, so what we can do then is change the tag size, the sound that plays when it drops, we can change the minimap icon. We can change the loop beam color. And obviously the text, background, and border. Now, if I wanted to have a separate rule for this Mirror of Calandra, I can remove it from this, um, this rule here, the STR rule. I can add a new rule. And in here, I'm going to put in a mirror of Calandra. And I'm going to change the sound of it. The mirror of Calandra. Change Ultimate. the text. Immeasurable. Order. And the background color. We change the icon. And the loop beam color okay so some other things you can do as well is obviously disable some of these tags so if we didn't want to find anything in this d tier we just uh, hide it or if you wanted to show stuff from the e tier so these arcane setchers or blacksmith sweatstones you can enable it again you can also just swap the item so if you wanted uh, arcane setchers into d tier we just remove it from here and put it into uh, d tier um what else is there to show you yeah okay, we can rename the rules so this mirror rule we just call it mirror that just makes it easier to uh, find your rules and know what they do. Another thing we can do is highlight specific bases. Now, this is going to be good if you want to farm bases for crafting. So if we enable this real quick and click on it. So obviously we can change everything like normal. Uh, what we can do here as well, change the rarity of the item. So normal or magic. Uh, if you just wanted the base, get rid of magic. So it's just white items you can craft on. Uh, we can change the item level. So if you wanted the best items, obviously you want that to be 82. Uh, we could add additional bases here, so maybe we want uh, Amethyst Rings, um, Hexes Robes, you know, stuff that's good. Alright, and once you're done customizing whatever you wanted to customize, head back over to the Overview tab and you can have a look at how it looks in-game. Now, obviously, I only changed two things because this is a tutorial, I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see the Divine Orbs and the Mirror of Calandras now look different on the floor. So if I click on Divine Orb, it'll play the new sound, and the same with the mirror. The mirror of Calandra. So once you're happy Ultimate. with everything, uh, I like to go to Simulate as well, sorry. Uh, so you can have a look at how it looks like on the floor. You know, when you generate some loot, that's how your items are going to look on the floor. Um, anyway, when you're happy with everything, go to Export to PoE. If you're signed in with PoE, you can sync it that way, or press uh, Continue Without Saving, and you can just download it here, and then put it in your PoE 2 folder. Okay, so now you've downloaded your filter, all you want to do is head over to Documents, My Games, Path XL2, and just paste it in here. Okay, and now we need to change the filter in game. So before I do that, I want to show you how my old filter looks. The standard Divine Orb drop there. Now I'm going to open up the options, go to Game, Item Filter, and I'm going to change it to the filter I just made. And as you can see, the Divine Orb now has a different tag to it. It looks completely different. So yeah, that's how you make a filter and import it to the game. Hopefully it helped the new players out, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.